Here we've got the mighty XT17T off-road caravan. It's got the tandem axles. I've dragged these things all over the country, from Brisbane to Broome by Birdsville. I've taken it up the Ormagari track, past Wyndham. It went through the Jurak River beautifully. I can't believe how it handled. We're gonna uh, have a look around this here today and show you all the features. On the front here, you've got the DO35 three and a half ton fully off-road heavy duty hitch. Got a heavy duty jockey wheel, handbrake, breakaway controller. Got heavy duty rated chains and shackles here in case everything goes wrong and you're relying on your chains. Everything is super heavy duty rated at three and a half ton as well. And you've also got a handy little tap here for washing your hands after you've hooked up. You've got your stone guard here that protects the front of your van, also protects your gas bottles, jerry can holders. All these are stainless steel and they're set onto the chassis itself. You've got your front boot here you got access to all your electrics and fridge slides, controllers, the whole lot. So you've got all your isolating switches, you've got your volt readout and your amps readout, your main isolator, all your resettable circuit breakers, you've got your inverter, which is a 1000 watt inverter, you've got your 240 volt outlets in there, you've got all your isolators, you've got a projector, solar and DC to DC charger. Front box here for pole storage goes all the way through to the other side and you've got LED lights each end. So you can see what's going on in there. And here's your fridge slide. Which fits up to an 80 litre angle, 110 litre Waco. It's a great size fridge slide. These here are very important and I use them a lot out in the bush. This is your rock slider. It protects your van from the big boulders, protects all this undercarriage and they're tough. Built tough, trust me, I've tested them. Moving along the side of the van, Got a drop down serving table here, perfect for making sandwiches on the side of the road or even when you're having a cook up on the kitchen, just an extra little bit of bench space. On the outside here, all these latches are stainless steel, and then you've got your full stainless steel kitchen on heavy duty sliders, and then you've got your four burner stove. It's a great stove, plenty of heat comes out of that. I put camp ovens on there, hot plates, and then a fully stainless steel sink with hot and cold water. Drawer there for storage. Gas plumbed under there. And then you've got your cutlery drawer. You've also got plenty of storage for condiments around the side of the kitchen and at the back. These Thetford stoves are actually designed for off-road use. So when you're going off the beaten track, they're getting rattled around. You're guaranteed they're gonna be able to cook you a nice hot meal at the end of the day. In here, you've got a water pump isolator. You've got 12 volt outlets that are marine grade for plugging in any sort of lights. And you've also got your controller for your electric awning. This here's the bayonet fitting for your quick connect gas line. And that's permanently plumbed to the gas line on the front of the van. On the back here, you've got dual spare wheel carriers that are gas strut assisted, and they're on aluminium rims. You've got rated hitch points that you can use as recovery points, whether you need to get pulled out backwards or you need to pull someone out forwards. Underneath, you've got three water tanks that are food grade poly tanks. It's 200 litres in capacity, and they also have bash plates for when you're off-road. Underneath here, you've got fully independent coilover suspension with dual shocks safety chains to limit the travel. You've also got 12 inch electric brakes. You've got fully sealed LED lights, so if they get submerged, you're not gonna have any problems. And here you've got your aluminium dust seal cover for your Truma gas hot water system vent. You've got your water filler here and breather. That's mains pressure water, or you can just fill your water tanks. In here, you've got your external shower, hot and cold water. So you set up your shower tent here and you can have if you've got people camping with you, you can have a shower out here instead of them tramping through your van. Or when you get back from the beach, it's perfect just to have a quick rinse off, rinse the salt off, and then get back to camping. 
Here you've got 16 inch alloy rims, which are heavy duty. You've got mud terrain tires, so they give you a little bit extra grip when you're doing downhill sections and you're applying those 12 inch electric brakes. And you've also got parallel bearings that are set on firmer hubs. In this door here, you have the cassette for the Thetford toilet, chemical toilet. It's as easy as taking it out like that, and you've got little wheels, and you just wander off into the bush with it. In here, you've got more storage. You can never have enough storage. A couple of little drawers here that have got marine carpet, so you can keep tools. This one here is set up for a little barbecue. You can put a sizzler barbecue on there, stainless steel. Well, the other option is you can have another big drop-in drawer here. As I mentioned earlier, this goes all the way through for your pole storage. This is the other side of that. You've got a vent here, which just keeps the heat out of the front box. And then here's your 240 volt inlet. So you plug your 15 amp lead into that, and then that fires up your charger for your batteries straight away. You don't have to do anything else, just plug it in, and it's gonna charge your whole system. Here you've got the marine grade external speaker, so you can annoy everyone else in the caravan park with your Roy Orbison. You've got a fancy handle here that lights up at night so you can find your van on your way back to bed. These external lights are all LED, so they don't use a lot of power. So you can keep them on for a long amount of time. You're not going to chew up your batteries. This XT is fitted with the Batwing awning, but it's actually an option on this model. Underneath here, you've got stabiliser legs. There's one of those on each corner. Drop them down and you can level up your van perfectly. So here you've got your fridge and freezer. The freezer when I was out in the middle of Australia, freezing barramundi fillets in there, beautifully works very well. And then you've got a very decent sized fridge. All the things on the doors to stop your cans rolling around. And you've got the safety latch so your doors don't fly open when you're hitting the tracks. So in here you've got a gas detector. That's this fella here. But above that, that's the controller for the Truma gas hot water system. Now if you see on there, the middle one is off. And the bottom you've got 70 degrees, the top you've got 60 degrees. Now if you turn this on, you can actually hear the piezo starting up in the hot water system. But if a red light comes on, on the top of this, that means that it didn't ignite. So you need to turn it to the off position again, and then select the temperature that you want again. You'll hear the piezo go off. If that red light then doesn't come on, that means it's ignited and it's heating up your water. So you've got plenty of bench space when you're set up put all sorts of things up here, deodorants, whatever you need, sunscreen. Same with here, lots of drawers, plenty of storage for your chemicals, for your toilet, food, snacks for on the road so you can access them quickly. Up here you've got your water tank readouts, so that tells you all three levels of the tanks. It's like a clock type system. And then you've got your 12 volt outlets and you've also got a little LED light. I went into the PowerPoint earlier and then we move into the shower area. So in here, this is your ensuite. You've got a shower and toilet. It's all sealed unit. You've got a mixer tap. So essentially when you're having your shower, you can just turn the mixer on to the right temperature, shut it off, soap up, turn it back on. You're gonna have the perfect temperature again and it's gonna save water. Now we've got the internal kitchen. Some people don't like the internal kitchen but it's there if the weather is really bad outside. Or if you need to brush your teeth. You've got a sink under here with hot and cold water. And you can do the washing up. You've got a gas cooktop here, gas oven. And you've got plenty of storage here for knives, forks, and any sort of cutlery you're gonna need. Utensils, drawers. So much storage in here. Every bit of space is used. In here, you've got your block out roller blinds and screen. So you can have half screen, half blind. They actually disconnect as well. You can have it completely open. Then you've got your latches. You've got to push these buttons in to unlatch it and then push the window out. You hear that clicking sound? That's the spot where you can stop it to close it again, lift it up past that point, back down. With these, I like to undo them like that and roll them internally. Makes it look nice and neat. And then I do the zip up a little bit just to hold it in. And then you can latch it.
If you roll it in, then it just looks nice and neat. And the wife will stay off your case. And moving into this section, you've got plenty more bench space on top here. You've got cupboard space. Obviously, this is where you'd put your clothes. Maybe some bedding in the bottom one. And then we move into this area. You've got pockets for your phone and anything else you might need when you're in bed, a book, and then you've got reading lights as well. If you're very handy, and you can access the switch there so you can turn them off when you want to go to sleep. You don't have to get back out of bed. And here you've got a nice dining area, but it also turns into a double bunk. So you've got the top bunk here, but this section here, you just drop this leg, unclip your table, clip it in down there, and then add your extra mattress into here. And there you have it. Another sleeping area for a little whippersnapper. And you put the other one up here. Underneath the bottom bunk, you've got the speakers. Um, they work off the stereo. You can actually turn the outside speakers off. So you can have music running inside. There's a switch next to the door. So you're not annoying anyone outside. But if you do want to have a big party, switch them all on and off you go. So under here you have more storage. Every little nook and cranny is used up and you can access your speakers. Here you've got a pocket, you can keep phones, iPods, and you've got your Kenwood stereo which runs all four speakers. And here's the switch to turn the outside speakers off. You've got the step light switch here and then you've got your outside light switches as well. Just a main isolator so you can turn them on and off with these. And the other side of the stairwell, you've got more storage. Just another drawer. I'd put stuff in there that I wanted to access on the side of the road, maybe wraps, stuff you might need for your lunches. So you can just come to the door, open the drawer, access everything you need for a side of the road cook up. One of the best things about these caravans is the ease it is to set up the kitchen. You just slide it out, open the lids, connect your gas, and you're cooking up on the side of the road in no time. Or you can be cooking in camp at night in no time as well. Dinner will be ready, such a good kitchen. So that's the inside covered off. You've got your shower, toilet, ample storage. It's even got the kitchen sink.